here with the beautiful Shibani Dandeker and she's literally let us come into her wardrobe as you can see in the back. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so you're not only talented, you've proven yourself to be a little fashion Easter in this little town, Bombay. Um, describe to me what your fashion sense is. My fashion kind of depends on my mood and I'm a really moody person. So um, I kind of t tend to follow trends according to what I'm feeling. So if I'm feeling kind of boho chic or if I'm feeling a little more um, glamorous or if I'm feeling kind of casual or goth, or funky, it kind of changes. So my wardrobe changes or I add and, and throw out pieces accordingly. It's all about expression and, and what you feel at the time when you're getting dressed and putting on clothes. There are some days where I will throw on all the accessories that I own, as you can see. Uh, and, there, and there are days where I just feel like being kind of um, simple and clean and just wearing kind of things that, you know, pulling my hair back. And you have to work with trends that work with you. Mm -hmm. I have no complaints as far as my body is concerned, but yeah, I, I tend to, you know, follow things that work for my body and my body type. But I am definitely the over-accessorized girl. I'm definitely the one that loves to follow, you know, crazy trends when it comes to prints or when it comes to color blocking or when it comes to things that are a little bit, you know, off the, off the mark. As far as high fashion street and higher brands, what do you prefer? In terms of Indian, I'm, um, you know, Everyone loves Falgani and Shane. Um, I'm a huge Silex fan. Uh, Nikhil Thumpy, Bail Singhal, who's doing some great stuff in terms of prints. So mm -hmm. I really like her stuff. Um, Ken Ferns had a great collection this uh, season. So love his prints and colors. Um, the thing is, there are so many great designers. And, and, and I, what I really think is lacking is when people mix the designers. So mm -hmm. maybe take a Ken Ferns top and piece it with a nickel thumpy bottom is something that I think that people aren't really doing. They tend to just kind of grab a designer and wear that designer from head to toe and I think that kind of needs to change. Okay. I also love Stella McCartney, McQueen, um, Alexander Wang. So those are the Indian and the kind of Western high-end brands that I like. But having said that, I'm a huge fan of mixing things from the high-end level all the way to the flea market. Mm. Okay, so what do you think makes a man really sexy as far as personal style? One that isn't afraid to just kind of be himself. I think with guys, the, the best thing is to just keep it simple. A fashion icon of mine in this country in terms of fashion for men is definitely Elton Fernandez. Okay. Um, he's a makeup artist okay. um, and he is fabulous. Okay, so it's getting really hot in Bombay right now. So mm -hmm. what are your five essential pieces in your wardrobe that you must have? Always a bathing suit. Okay. Um, okay, one piece or two piece? Oh, two piece. Okay. Um, I think a great throw over mm -hmm. when you're going to the beach or the pool. I love those. Um, a pair of like short denim shorts. Mm -hmm. Can't live Mars, without those yeah. in the summer. Um, a really cool hat. Okay. Um, and just like the you know the throw on dresses that you can just wear really with simple, any really easy. simple light fabric yeah. really thin definitely for this weather yeah, yeah and they look really sexy mm -hmm. um and it looks effortless like you've kind of got up in the morning and you've spent three hours getting ready when you spent five minutes are you on any social platforms yes all of them i'm on keek twitter instagram facebook do you get your fashion inspiration from like those platforms or uh well i do follow a couple of stylists um overseas okay. and then I follow um, hair and makeup people and um, you know magazines and websites that offer fashion advice so yeah I mean things that catch my eye and draw attention I definitely mm -hmm. follow them and I pick up things that I like from that have you ever shopped online before yes I love it <laughs> um, I think it's so convenient these days and any personal websites that you go to that are like your favorite it's ASOS of course which is the most popular one um, I find like a whole variety of things over there um, and then you of course you've got shops like Saks and and all the other stores overseas that offer an online service now which is great mm -hmm. um, and then when you know when you come back home and you're you know shopping lo locally <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> no, it's great. There's a variety of things okay. there and I think it just covers everything. What's one style tip that you can give to all your Shibani fans out there? Be yourself. I think it's so important to dress for who you are. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you try to dress like other people or you try to follow trends that don't work for you, you're going to end up looking ridiculous. I think another style advice would be to learn how to do your makeup. Okay. That's something else that I've really struggled with. Um, I tend to slap it on and put on too much and of the wrong color. So. I used to, but you know, you kind of, I think after a point you, ha you, you learn because you the more practice you have. Yeah. So I think also 
Less is more. For sure. That's another st huge style advice. Well, thank you so much for letting us raid your wardrobe, literally. Thank you so much to Mithra.com for coming here and visiting me in my home and in my <laughs> wardrobe. Um, it's a fabulous website and anything that I can do to support it, I'm there.